CCLI auto reporting. Uh, and auto reporting just basically keeps track of what songs you're putting in different sets. And when you leave on song, it uploads that to CCLI. Now that might sound a little like, ooh, why are we telling them what songs I'm doing? Well, because you have to, <laughs> Be, you know, based on the, the, uh, the license. Because when they know which songs are being played, they know which artists need to be paid. Wow, that rhymed. Oh. I, I apologize for that. The poet came out. <laughs> um, so how do you enable auto reporting? Well, first of all, OnSong is going to prompt you uh, when you first get into that new song select interface. Uh, you, By the way, you will have to sign in again to that song select interface because they made a, a number of changes. So just make sure you have your login handy. Um, but I'm gonna turn on auto reporting and show you how that works, okay? So one of the things that you can do, you can go into your import screen for song select, and you can tap on that wrench icon in the upper right corner, and that will give you all the song select settings. However, we thought it's kind of weird to put auto reporting settings in where you import maybe, so there's a place to do that in settings as well. But I'll, since we're here, we'll kind of go over everything. First of all, you can take a look at all the legal agreements up top there, our end user license agreement, song select, etc. One new feature with the song select API is that we do know who you are. We know who your CCLI license number is. So if you sign in, um, that will automatically populate your CCLI license number in OnSong, which means if you do lyrics projection, your CCLI li license number will show up, which you have to do. So it's probably a good idea to have that. Um, and then down below, we have a couple other features in that custom section. Uh, you can change the way OnSong searches for chord sheets. Basically, by default, we say, well, you probably want a chord sheet, so we're gonna make that required. You don't want just lyrics, typically. Um, so that's turned on. But in the middle, we have that auto reporting enabled switch. So all we have to do is turn that on and we wait just a second uh, as we connect to the song select API. Um, and how does OnSong determine what songs you do on which days? Well, by default, it's, well, it's always gonna use how song reporting is configured inside of OnSong. By default, OnSong is gonna do that by set. What that means is if you put a song in a set that you're doing, let's say next Sunday, then OnSong knows, oh, that song is done next Sunday. And that's the date that gets assigned when it gets uploaded to CCLI. Uh, you can change that here. You can just tap and change how your reporting method is set up. Um, OnSong does have something called by usage. By usage just means that if you look at a song for a specific period of time, right now we have it after two minutes, it will, excuse me, consider that a usage. Um, and then that is how it de de determines what songs get uploaded to uh, CCLI. So every app is different, how that's done. Again, OnSong is gonna default and use its song reporting setup. Now you can see here, we don't have anything uh, uploaded. There's no issues. Uh, that, we, we didn't go through the process of building a set and doing all that. But if we were to do all that, None of that gets uploaded until you leave the app. When you close the app, then it's gonna get uploaded. And that, that status will show there, let you know what's been uploaded. Um, so you, you kinda, you're in full view of what's happening behind the scenes. The other cool thing that you could do is, so you'll, you can see that list if you did wanna remove something from reporting, you say, oh, well, we didn't do that song. Uh, you can then from, from that screen right here, the zero songs reported, zero issues screen, you can go in, oh, here we go. It kinda looks like this. You can see it tried to report a couple things. There's some issues because what I sent was too old. So it's gonna tell you all this. It's gonna kind of explain what's going on here. But if you were to tap on, let's say reported there, it will show you all the songs. If you try to delete one of those songs, it's actually gonna tell you to go to the song select website and you can make tweaks there. So we think that's a, a game changer too. Just making your life, if you're in a house of worship, it's making your life a little bit easier. It's less things you have to worry about doing. So, all right. so yeah, that's auto reporting.